So the most common question I used to get was, what about these millennials? And I did a thing, I did a video and answered that and that question went away, which is kind of good. The most common question that I get now, every single time, the most common question is, what if I believe in the infinite mindset and senior leadership is so finite minded, how do I, how do I, what do I do? Um, well, if we adjust to an infinite mindset, we accept that um, A, we can't affect, we can't change people, right? We can only change our own behavior. We can't force senior leadership to change, especially if we have no direct contact with them. But we can choose to become the leaders we wish we had, right? So the whole idea is say, is to, is to work within the system you've got, of course, but to say, okay, we're gonna build an infinite minded team. And so amongst the people you work with, and it doesn't matter if you're in a leadership position or not, remember leadership has nothing to do with rank. Leadership is the responsibility to take care of those around us. So you, you can take care of your boss too. Hey boss, you okay during this COVID? How are you? Um, um, and start embracing those, uh, those practices. You know, if, if the organization doesn't have a, a good just cause, tell your team what your just cause is and say why you love this job and how this job is helping you advance your just cause. Uh, start building trusting teams. Start making the people you work with feel like someone has their back, that someone cares about them as human beings, that you create a space where they can be open and honest without judgment. Uh, um, uh, you study your worthy rivals so that you can be a better leader, but also ask the team, what other teams inside the company are better than we are so that at certain things, so that we can be, become an even better team. Not because we want to beat them, but because we want to improve. Build that sense of constant improvement into the team. Um, be willing to change certain things. You know, very often companies do things because that's the way they've always been done, but nobody's ever asked, does it have to be done this way? And nobody ever asks, can I change it? And very often the answer is, we don't know why it's done this way. And yes, you can change it. Ask the question. And then what ends up happening is you build this wonderful high performing team. If you have an open-minded group of leaders, even if they're finite minded, they're gonna look at what you're doing in your high performing team with higher loyalty, better relationships, and they're gonna say, what are you guys doing down there? And they may wanna learn from you. If they're completely just you know, in their own world and short-term metric driven, um, they'll just leave you alone because you're high performing. Um, and eventually some of the people will leave that group and go join other teams. They'll either move on or get promoted out and they'll bring everything they've learned and they'll take it to those teams and they'll build high performing infinite minded teams and eventually the tail wags the dog. Unfortunately, we don't know how long it takes. Depends on the organization, depends on the culture, depends on the people, but the tail can wag the dog. I saw it happen with a hundred thousand person organization and it took two years, which I think is unbelievably quickly. And it was completely without senior leadership's help. We saw the whole organization pivot just because the people started to embrace new ideas.